We're comparing two large breeds with vastly different reputations, the gentle Great Dane and the incredibly protective Akita. Both are fierce defenders of their home and family, but the Akita is much quicker to react at the slightest challenge. There are more than a few similarities between these two gorgeous canines and plenty of differences to consider as well when adding one to your home. Welcome back to the Fenrir Great Dane channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Great Dane and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Great Dane. So if you're a lifelong Great Dane lover, you're thinking about getting one or you've just started your journey with your new Great Dane, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Great Dane video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll take a look at the most significant differences and similarities between these two powerful breeds. Let's start with each breed's history so we can get a better understanding of what makes them tick and the instincts that drive them today. The Great Dane that we know as a gentle giant and incredibly affectionate companion today was initially bred to hunt large game and be a defense against assassins in the 1800s. These roles meant the Dane was a fierce hunter of vicious wild boar among other wild game and had to be equally ferocious. They are still exceptional protectors when the situation calls for it, but prefer to cuddle with their family and maintain their gentle giant status. The Akita is an older breed developed in the harsh northernmost region of Japan in the 16th century. A nobleman was banished to rule the Akita region by the emperor at the time, and it was there that he perfected the Akita as the loyal and protective breed we know today. The Akita is best known for its enduring loyalty that was exemplified in the 1920s by Hachiko, an Akita who waited for his owner at a train station every day for nine years after the man died unexpectedly during the day. The appearance of the Dane and the Akita are as different as their histories. The Dane is tall and narrow with a sleek thin coat that comes in a wide array of colours. They are graceful once grown and have a long stride that highlights their lean bodies. Their ears fold over when not cropped and their tail is set high and straight. Danes do have large jowls which make them very prone to drooling as well. The Akita is pretty much the opposite, with an incredibly dense coat to keep warm in the cold climate of northern Japan. Their tail is curved over their rump and gives their powerful gait a more springy appearance, while their naturally erect ears reflect their alertness to the world. Both breeds are large and overlap in their weight ranges with the Dane between 100 to 175 pounds and the Akita between 70 to 130 pounds. They are both powerful breeds packaged in very different bodies. When it comes to their personalities, the two imposing breeds have more in common than they do in their appearance. You'll find the Dane is clever enough to use their size and sweet eyes to their advantage. Their lower energy levels keep them from wanting to excel at any obedience work for long periods and quickly turn to stubbornness. This isn't the rule for every individual, of course, since many Danes are excellent service dogs, which requires a high level of training and focus. Because of their size and protective instincts, both breeds will do best with experienced canine leaders that are calm and consistent with boundaries and expectations. This goes doubly for the Akita, who needs an exceptionally dedicated and knowledgeable leader to keep their fiercely protective nature in check. They are very devoted and eager to please, but they don't make great choices for people who may want to compete in canine sports. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behavior. As a canine behaviorist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set, and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behavior that are important for you to become a high level canine leader. And then you can fix your dog's problems problem behaviors at home, or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviors. So again, if you want to check out that course, it's completely free of charge. The principles of canine behavior, there'll be a link down in the description box below, and I can't wait to see you over on that course. All dogs need early and frequent socialization with other people, dogs, and animals. Danes are no exception despite their gentle nature. The Dane is known for being a gentle giant with small animals and children and seems to have lost all of their ancestors' fierce hunting instincts. Their modern temperament is what makes them such amazing family companions and service dogs. They are extremely affectionate and loyal to their family, but are generally friendly with strangers too. Socialization is imperative with the Akita because of its protective and reactive nature. With the family, you'll find the Akita to be loving and affectionate with the whole family and chiefly devoted to one person. They tend to be aggressive towards other dogs and even small animals, so they do best in homes where they can be the only animal. 
Again, this isn't 100% true for every individual, but a general overview of the breed that you absolutely have to be aware of. The Dane and Akita have very different historical roles and temperaments, but they are amazingly loyal canine companions. The Akita is a rugged beauty and intelligent canine that is the definition of devotion. For all of their outstanding qualities, they are not for inexperienced families or active homes. Even with plenty of socialisation, their protective instincts run deep. If your home and the experience level can accommodate the large space the Dane will fill in your home and heart, it's hard to imagine a more gentle giant as your next family companion. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Great Dane videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Great Dane channel.